Hello guys, welcome to this new vlog. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Chloe, I'm a Belgian illustrator, writer and crafter and also a YouTuber. And if you're a regular viewer, welcome back, so happy to see you around. As usual, grab your favourite drink, a snack, sit back, relax and enjoy! At the end of June, Kami Snackers and I held our very first co-working in Liège. We were inspired by the one in Brussels and it was a fantastic idea to make our own because people were really happy to join, they were so happy to find this welcoming space for artists, professional, non-professional, no matter what they did, drawing, crochet, writing, everybody was more than welcome. It was a success and we can't wait to do it again. Meeting all these creative people was such a great experience. Lately, I've been prioritizing building community and trying to find people who make me feel safe at home, like I belong. I will elaborate a bit more on that later in the video, but yeah. As an adult, being able to choose the people I hang out with and for how long and how often I hang out with them is really good. <laughs> Afterwards, Camille and I went to the end-of-year exhibition of our old art school. It was a little bit weird for me being there after two years. I was reminded of the good but also bad and rough experiences I had when I was there. But it was also very interesting and inspiring to see the work of all the students. Recently, thanks to therapy and being surrounded by amazing, loving and caring people, I've been feeling more and more free to be myself in many ways. The way I dress, the way I do my hair, my makeup, but also what I do with my life. And it's a very refreshing feeling because for a very long time, like from quite a young age up until quite recently, I've been feeling unfit and inadequate, like I didn't belong, or like either the world wasn't made for me, or I wasn't properly made for the world. Ayo! Outfit check. You can't see anything, I have to step on this. Blood sturdy. Ooh. Look cute. I'm 
my little sparkly band. <laughs> I'm on my way to a job interview. Will I or will I not have it this time? I guess we'll see. <laughs> I got a job! <laughs> okay, before we get a little bit overexcited, it's a little job. So it's basically activities for kids, but only during school breaks. So it's like, it's like stable and semi-regular. It's like semi-stable and semi-regular in the way that it's like, I'll have the opportunity, that I'll have the possibility to work well, at every school break, but in between, nothing. <laughs> It's better than actually absolutely nothing, you know? It's better than my current situation. It's experience. It's a salary. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty pumped about it. Uh, I've got two, two weeks of work in August, so... Woo! Victory! <laughs> I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but basically I was bullied in primary school for being quote-unquote different and weird. Like, I knew exactly what the other kids didn't like about me. I knew, like, it was the way I dressed and some of my interests. So I was very aware of it. But, I couldn't get myself to change, I couldn't get myself to stop being me. And it led me to hating myself, my personality and my body for years and years because I was just like, what the hell is wrong with you? Why are you doing all these things that you know are going to be mocked? Why do you keep doing these things when you know you're going to be harassed and bullied over them? I was basically hating myself because I couldn't force myself into being something I was not. And it's a very dumb thing to hate yourself over, quite frankly. So as I was saying earlier in this video, now that I'm an adult, I have this amazing luxury of picking the people I hang around, for how long I hang with them, and how often I see them. So, if someone doesn't make me feel safe, if someone doesn't make me feel like I belong, if someone doesn't appreciate the way I am, I don't have to see them five days a week. I don't have to put up with the way, with the poor way they treat me. And that's absolutely amazing. I can just be myself, and live my life. And that's beautiful. Because even as I grew up, like I was not a helpless child anymore, but I had to face different things. Like being chronically ill and neurodivergent can worsen the impression that you're unfit for the world or that the world is unfit for you. 
But now at least I can find comfort in community. Which is something that took me ages to realize that as different and as weird as I can be, I can find people who share the same differences and the same weirdness. So, I guess my message is just be yourself. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna hurt. But by being yourself, you're going to attract and find your people. It's gonna get better. You're going to find this community, this group, as little or as, or as big as it can be, that just accepts and loves you and makes you feel like you belong. It's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Friday, it's a little bit past noon, the weather is quite nice today, it was not so nice yesterday and it's definitely going to be absolute crap tomorrow, so this morning I was a bit, a bit slow to be honest, I did some video editing, um, but this afternoon I'm going to go out because I have to run some errands, I want to go to the new library um it's like the library in itself is not new it's the location that is new uh they moved from the old building to a brand new very fancy building with shared spaces so i'm going to go there to make myself a little library membership and also i'm going to check out the shared spaces because that could be very interesting for the co-workings once, uh, well, once it gets too cold and crappy to to do that in the park. So that's the plan for this afternoon. But as for now, I'm going to enjoy a little coffee and plan some YouTube stuff a little. Lately, I've been trying to plan out my videos more. Like, obviously, they're, they're not scripted because like, they're, they're not very long. I can't, I can't script, like, vlogs, for example. But I just plan them out and write the ideas of what I want to say because otherwise I will have to re-record ten times because I lose my train of thought and... And then the editing is really, really exhausting because I have videos of myself talking to the camera for like 10 minutes. And by the end of it, I'm like, what is the point that I was trying to make? How do I edit this to make it make sense? So it's not, it's not really scripting. It's, ju it's just, yeah, making it clearer for me to have a plan and basically know what the video is going to be about. You guys know that I'm a thrifter, so I barely ever go into shops anymore. And that's for like underwear. And I had to go to the Primark. And the Primark is in like a shopping center. <laughs> I'm not feeling good, you guys. I'm not. Goodness. I'm gonna take a break in the, in the changing rooms. Thank you. 
I've got a market tomorrow. <laughs> this was not fully planned. Um, what happened is that my good friend Soup, um, when they were called for that market a few weeks ago, asked me if I wanted them to ask if they still had a space for me, uh, which they did. Um, the answer basically was that they didn't have space anymore, but if I wanted, if I wanted to be put on the list in case somebody cancelled, that could be done. So I said yes. Seems like nobody cancelled, but Soup texted me like maybe half an hour ago being like, hey, um, I don't have a lot of things for the market tomorrow, so they told me that I could share my table with you. So I was like, okay, cool, good thing I still have stock. <laughs> um, so I am preparing apparently. <laughs> Because yes, I still have some stock from the last market. And also knowing it's only going to be half a table, I don't need as many things anyway. So I'm just going to bring, I guess, my brooches and, um, and key rings and a few prints. I'm making like little surprise envelopes with a surprise print, a surprise bookmark, and two surprise stickers. Je vais te 